Okay. Um, greetings wherever you may find yourself. My name is Ebenezer. Sorry. Welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> so, I had a peculiar problem that I was able to use Power Automate to solve. And the problems are in two layers. I'm going to show you the first one. So, my problem was that was having a lot of issues with people not submitting their timesheet that's their weekly timesheet um every friday so basically we set up in our office to send to submit timesheets online every friday um ideally we are supposed to submit it i mean fill it out every day but i mean obviously you save it at the end of the week which is friday the working week actually and then submit it people were not doing it so just needed a um, a bit of a nudge to tell them that hey you need to submit your timesheet and it came in a form of email reminder and then i just couldn't get myself to be typing emails every friday to remind people to submit their timesheet so i decided to do an automated flow um in power automate so that i set it up at 3 p.m every friday it sends out to the team members and then uh, telling them that they should fill their timesheet so an email has been sent so if you don't fill it that means you are just being employee so that's how i set it up <coughs> uh, very simple you can actually use the co-pilot in power automate uh, cloud to to describe that flow and then it will set it up for you but just very simple this is just a test on how i um just how i i set it up so the occurrence if you go into it it's, it occurs on every friday um the start date is this date um so um on these days that's every friday uh, at these hours zero ten but i mean obviously if i you needed to change to 15 o'clock every friday then you have to select 15 and then at the minute you can just to put a zero zero so with a preview it shows that it runs at every 15 hours on friday every week <clears throat> yeah so that's the occurrence if you go to the send an email flow <clears throat> this is the content of the email I guess use my email as a two, but then obviously we have a group email that has everybody's email address. So I, I just paste it here so that it sends out individually to the team members. <coughs> Sorry. And then the subject is reminder timesheet. Content is say good day or or good day. Um then say this is an automated email reminder to submit your timesheet before close of business today. Please ensure to hit the submit button once timesheet is completed. So the submit button. So I just included that uh, in the email and then send send it out. So the second problem I was having was that I mean obviously I have my this is the email content, but I had my uh, I have my signature that I needed to include uh, beneath the email so that the email will, will look professional because I'll be sending it to uh, co-members or colleagues. So I needed it to be professional. And the problem I was having is that any time I hit, um, I copy my email signature from Outlook. So uh, let me just show you. Just for you, illustration purposes. So this is uh, my outlook. Uh, let me set my signature so you know my, um, I mean, this is just, um, this is not my position, this fictitious or just made up. Um, so I'll just copy it and then um, say uh, on in um, Power Automate, if I paste my signature underneath my, my email you see it loses the i mean it it appears all right but then you realize that it loses 
a bit of the colors and then the the fonts that i choose on my regular outlook signature right so this is not what i wanted i wanted my my um my signature as it is in outlook to appear with the colors the fonts and everything so this is how i went about it uh, after a bit of research i realized that there is a walk around it what you do is that you have to paste it paste your signature in uh, in a form of um, html um, if you've done some website development you know how html you see every font every color has a code for it so i realized that if i copy my outlook signature and then paste it in an html form then it means uh, i'll be able to see it in this version and i mean this is just the, the way my my signature is set up with the colors and everything this is the code for it All right so how do you achieve that it's quite simple um so what you need to do is that there are various ways but this this is the way that worked for me uh, if you want to uh, see your i mean obviously the signatures are, are saved right in on your on your laptop so what you need to do is to, um, windows r to open the dialog box and then there's a code that you need to put in in windows out to set your outlook signature file so this is the actual code that you put in windows out to search the file path to your microsoft outlook signature so windows r and then you put in this one uh, i'll put it in the description of this um <coughs> of this video so you can copy it uh, you click ok and then it sends you to the location where you find the signature file so obviously this is the signature file that you have you should look out for the HTML source file. That's the type of file that you need to look for. What you do then is to right click it and open the file either with a notepad and copy the, um, copy the, the code or I choose to open it with um, VS Code, which is on my desktop. But you can also open it with or edit it in Notepad. So let's let's go the edit Notepad route, and then simply you have your code. So all you need to do is to copy that code. You can do a Control A to select or Control C to copy it, and I can just close the file down, close it get back to power automate and simply what you need to do is to copy the code that's what i've done and it copies everything manages it in that with with the default um fonts colors layout um size and whatever it is maintains it and then you are done okay right so then let's test it after doing this you just have to save it and then once it's saved you just have to test it and then we are going to do a manual test and test it and see how it will show up you just have to run the flow it says your flow runs successfully so it has my email address so let's see how it comes up fingers crossed 
Let's check our email and then see if it's up. Kadush is in. So basically it came, it's fired up. This is just a test. And then it has um all the details and all the fonts. You see this this small verbiage here still maintain the color and then everything is, is nice and crispy. So that is basically it. Um you may want to try it for yourself and see how it goes but uh, as I'm, I'm, I really enjoy it and I uh, hope you do too let me know how it went in the comments below thank you enjoy the rest of your day